Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's tutorial, uh, we are uh, going to uh, create Amazon EC2 instance and we are going to create a security group and we are going to associate that specific security group with Amazon EC2 instance. So if you see the correct architecture, we are having our VPC and public subnet and within that public subnet, we are going to launch our EC2 instance. So guys, before moving ahead, we have to make sure that we have all the prerequisites in place before we go ahead and launch our EC2 instance. So the first prerequisite would be uh, cloud formation extension. This cloud formation extension in the Visual Studio code we are going to use uh, for writing our code that would be the template. So you have to make sure that you have this template uh, extension installed. By any chance if you have not installed it, I will paste the link of this video in the description above and you can watch the video and install it as per your convenience. So guys moving to the second prerequisite, you have to make sure that there is a, a VPC installed and along with that VPC, uh, internet gateway is installed and that internet gateway is associated with the VPC. By any chance, if you have not uh, installed the VPC and internet gateway, I will paste the link of this uh, polling to YouTube tutorials. So you can uh, refer that specific links in the description above. So guys, the third prerequisite would be make sure that you have a public subnet. Along with that public subnet, make sure you have a public route table and a public route which associates the public subnet to the uh, public route table. I will paste the link for the specific video in the description above for your reference. So let's uh, check the diagrammatic representation of the implementation that we are going to go, do today. So uh, as you can see guys, we have our VPC installed. In our VPC, we have uh, also created along with VPC internet gateway. This internet gateway is associated with this specific VPC allowing internet connection within this VPC. Now, second thing, uh, as a part of our prerequisite, you can see we have uh, install, uh, we have created our public subnet. Along with public subnet, we have a public route table and this public route table is associated with the public subnet. So in current tutorial, in today's tutorial, what we are going to do is we are going to launch this EC2 instance and we are also going to create a security group which will allow HTTP and SSS access to this specific EC2 instance. Let's first understand the components that will be involved as a part of this template that we are going to build. So we are going to require two resources. One would be the uh, instance resource that is the EC2 instance that we are going to create and another would be the security group. And another component is output. It is always a best practice uh, to have an output where you uh, check what are the resources which has been installed as part of your uh, resource block. So now as we know what all components are involved, let's jump to the Visual Studio code and start building the template. So let's create a new YAML file that would be ec2.yaml. Okay. So I will paste star and over here we would only require resources and output. We don't require parameters and manifold. So I will just go ahead and remove it. So as a part of best practice, we will make sure to add a description over here. So guys, as the description is added, we will go ahead and create our resources. So the first resource that we are going to create is a security group. I will use double space security group. So security group skeleton is over here populated. So I will give the group name as allow EC2 traffic and I will give the group description enable SSH access and HTTP access on the inbound port. So over here we have security group ingress and security group outgress, uh, sorry egress. So I am going to just remove the egress. We won't require it right now. So there is security group ingress. In ingress what I will do, I will just type security and as you can see it will give me option of security group ingress. So let me correct the indentation. So now the indentation is correct. This is going to be a TCP from 80 to 80 and the CIDR IP that we are going to mention is from anywhere 0 .0 .0 .0 slash 0. Okay. Now I will give the name as instance. Okay, the name is instance security group. So guys, our uh, as you can see, our security group is created. Let's move ahead right to the next resource. So our instance security group resource is created. We will now launch our EC2 instance. So for that, double space, 
EC2. So it will be an EC2 instance. So in EC2 instance, I would require this parameter and uh, not even monitoring. For security group, I have to mention the security group ID over here. So what I will do, I will just uh, refer the security group that I have created. So guys, I will show you when you refer the security group, it provides a security group name and what exactly this parameter is, it is asking for security group ID, not the group name. So when we will get the error, I will show you how we can correct that. And right now we don't need the user data. I will remove that also. As a part of tag, I will keep name and name would be our Ubuntu instance that we are going to create. Why Ubuntu instance? Because the AMID that I'm going to use, it is the AMID for the Ubuntu instance. So we are going to use this EMI ID. By any chance, if you don't know how you can uh, how, how to get the EMI ID, what you can do is you can come over here, click on launch instances, and over here, whatever you want, uh, the operating system, just click on it, it will give you the EMI ID over here. For Ubuntu, it will give the EMI ID over here. From here, you can copy and paste based on your requirement. Now, let's jump back to the console, and over here, I have the EMI ID, and make sure that you have a key name, so I have a key name, so I will just provide the key name over here. Custom VPC. So that is my key name that I am referring to. And over here, the instant security group. Okay, so and uh, in instant type, I will use T2 micro. So let's see what are instance types that we have as part of this resource. I will just copy, go to the browser over here. EC2 instance under AWS EC2 instance. So these are all the properties, guys. So as part of this property, so right now, which properties we are using? I will show you. So if I search for required property as yes. Let's see if there is any. So guys, there is no required properties if you see as yes. Now the property that we are using is let's go over here. The first property is key name. That is that we are very very well aware of. Now we will search for instance ID. Oh sorry, instance type. So guys, you can see the instance type. These are the allowed values. So all these values are there. So from this you can select anyone based on your requirement. So right now I have taken T2 micro as it is part of free tier. Okay. So these all the things are populated perfectly. Now what I will do, I will just paste the output over here to save some cooling time. So this is the instance security group and this is the Ubuntu instance. So guys, as you can see, we have our template is ready and the indentation looks correct as per my understanding. But if there is any issue, we will come to know while we validate or while we run the template. So I will just save this file now. So guys, based on our component requirements, we have created two resources. That is instance security group, Ubuntu instance, and we have also created outputs. That is Ubuntu instance and security group. Now let's move ahead on the next part. That is launch template using AWS CLI. So as we have created the template, first we will validate the template by using AWS CLI command. That is AWS cloud formation validate template. So I will just go to the git bash over here and clear the screen and I will use the validate template command over here. So guys, as I said you before, see under resources in security group uh, type VPC ID. Let's go back over here. So in instance security group Okay, so we don't require this parameter VPC ID. Let's remove this, save the file again. So guys, as you can see, we are not having any error. So that this template will launch EC2 instance and security group and associate them together, allowing HTTP and SSH access to the EC2 instance. Okay, now I will clear this and I will use 
we will move to the next command that is create stack. In this, we will create the stack by using the param parameter that is stack name and we will provide the stack name over here along with the file name. So let's go ahead and do that. I have, yes. So we have got the stack ID. Now let's jump to the console that is the AWS console and cloud formation stack. I will refresh it and there is an EC2 instance under process. So let's go to the events and see if it is building the event successfully. So let's wait for a few, few more uh, minutes for it to launch the EC2 instance. So guys, as you can see, the instance is created successfully. The create is completed without any errors. Okay, so I will just refresh this. So our launch template is successful. Now, uh, let's move to the last command that is describe stack to see. So guys, just make sure that you remember this stack ID ending with 993cb5. Okay, now I will use the describe stack command. So the describe stack command gives you the stack ID. It is again 993cv5, the stack name, the description, create time, the basic configuration, and the outputs that we have mentioned. So as part of a launching template using AWS CLI, we have used all the three commands. So let's move ahead to the next part. Now we will verify uh, the resources that we have created as part of this template. So uh, let's jump to the AWS console. Over here, I will go to the EC2 management console. And guys, as you can see, our okay, so this one is running. So there seems to be one thing. Okay, I forgot to copy paste the value of Ubuntu instance from there over here. No worries, it has launched, but it has launched with value. So this is the one that has been launched. Okay, so I will just refresh it. So it is still initializing. Let's wait for a few minutes. So guys, as you can see, the status check is completed successfully. Now, I will just open this. So guys, as you can see, all the things are, it is a open instance, Linux, it is the same AMID that we have used, and this instance is up and running. Now, if I go to security groups, uh, let's go to uh, instance again, and over here, if I click on security, you can see our security group that is allow is to traffic is being created and attached to this specific EC2 instance. If I click on this, you can see the inbound rule that is 80. Okay. So, so guys, the way we have added 80, we also have to add actually one more that is SSH because Without SSH, I won't be able to log in to the machine and show you what if you can log in into the machine by using the SSH. Okay, I will save this file. Not an issue. What I will do, I will just go ahead and run the stack once again. Okay, create stack. Stack created once again. And over here. I will go to EC2 instances. Meanwhile, I will go over here and I will refresh it. Okay, maybe the stack won't be created. The reason for th for that is I have given the two stack name as same. See, it says an error occurred when calling the create stack already exists. So let me just change the stack name to EC2 new. Okay. When calling the create stack validation error that EC2 new add stack name fail to satisfy that must set up. Okay, my bad. Instead of this, I will give instance. Okay, the stack is created successfully. I will jump to the AWS console and refresh it. Go back in progress. Okay. This is also existing, not an issue. What I will do, I will just delete both of the stack and rerun our template once again. So guys, the stack is deleted successfully as you can see over here. 
now we don't have any stack with EC2. I will go over here to stacks and I will launch the stack one second before launching it. I will tell you what's inside it. I just added one SSH command over here because that was part of our requirement for this template. I have added that and I have also corrected the name over here that is Ubuntu instance. So that is the only change that I have did. So let's jump over here. Let's keep on. Let's keep this as EC2. Template created. I will minimize this. We will go to console, refresh, copy, EC2. Let's click on EC2 events and let's allow a few seconds. So guys, as you can see, the EC2 is created successfully. If I go to resources, it, it says the EC2 and the security group is created, allow EC2 traffic and in outputs, we have the name of the security group and the ID of the EC2 instance that has been launched. Okay. Now what I will do, I will go to EC2 instance and over here, if I refresh it, you can see our EC2 instance is up and running. If I click on this and if you see below, so if I go to security, let's see, okay, see our EC2 instance is attached and the involved rules that is 80 and 22 is in place as expected. Now, so the instance is up and running. Let's refresh it for the status check to be completed. So guys, as you can see, the status check is completed. I will just click on this and I will click on connect and I will copy this. Let's open Git bash, one more Git bash. So from here, I will be running this command. So if we are able to enter inside this EC2 instance, that means our security group is working perfectly fine. Enter. Yes. So guys, you can see that I am inside the EC2 instance. So our EC2 instance has launched successfully and it has an open access for SSH. So thank you for joining the session guys. Have a great day ahead. Goodbye.